Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Today's pick a card is basically the reverse of a reading that I did about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Um, I basically did a video where I was talking about you guys' currency and what it is that you bring to the table in connections. And I did that reading so you guys could see um, your worth and really see what it is that you bring into relationships and friendships to find that confidence and that that, um, you know, power within you to know what it is that you bring and to be able to stand in that um, and to remind yourself all that you do for people and all that you give to people in connections. And when I was doing that reading, um, there was a strong urge to do a reverse, um, to take a look at what your heart truly deserves, what you truly deserve and what it is that you deserve back in your relationships, friendships, connections with anyone that will make you flourish, that will make you feel safe that will make you feel happy and that will fulfill you um, and you guys really like the idea of that so that's what we're doing in this reading today we're going to be basically taking a look at what your heart truly deserves and wants in regards to your connections whether it's relationships friendships you know work situations and family connections what it is that you truly deserve back um, and what will really help you step into the best version of yourself in regards to connections so that's what we're doing today so i have four objects for you guys to choose from pile number one is the little mouse um with the baby mouse in the in the prom um pile number two we have the shell pile number three we have the ghost perfume the mini ghost perfume and pile number four we have the amethyst the amethyst tree there will probably be rain in the background of this video guys because we're expecting storms today it's been a heat wave all week and now we're expecting storms but yeah pile number four is the amethyst the amethyst tree so see which object you are drawn to as usual the timestamps are going to be in the description box so yeah click on your timestamp and i will see you there for your reading hey pal one welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what it is that you deserve at your table uh like i said in the intro when i was doing the previous video one of the things that we were taking a look at in those piles and what kept coming up in those piles was like you know our boundaries and what it is that we deserve back at our table for all that we give and that's really what we're going to be taking a look at today and what your heart truly desires in connections with other people um and what your heart truly deserves back so you guys chose the little mouse with the little mouse baby in the pram i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number one Please, spirit guides, tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. I keep being shown Snow White. Um, I'm being shown Snow White when she just, like sings with the birds by the fountain, but then it's like I'm being shown Cinderella with the birds making the dress for her. Um, yeah. Cinderella making the dress and the birds making the dress because it was the birds that like helped her make that dress like those birds and those mice they were looking out for Cinderella they were like taking care of her they didn't need to be making that dress for her they didn't need to be making all of that for her but they did because they cared about her and she was somebody that was like looking out for you know the stepmother and the two evil stepsisters and she was like you know cleaning the house and looking out for them and, and tending to them but like no one was tending to her but those animals were like tending back to her because they really saw her she had a very pure heart so I feel like with you guys is reading and especially you choosing the mouse with the baby in the prom I feel like you guys naturally and what it is that you bring to the table and I probably mentioned this in the other video if you watched it I feel like you guys are nurturers and you give a lot and you hold space for people and you take care of people and I think sometimes you forget that you need that same care taken back you know for you I feel like sometimes you guys will just get on with it and deal with doing things by yourself maybe you grew up always having to look out for yourself or take care of yourself in that way or maybe you learned that you have to self-sacrifice or overgive. and I feel like what you deserve back in your connection to someone who equally not only gives to you and looks out for you in that way but I feel like you deserve someone that really sees you sees your heart 
um and sees who you are and not just what you give because i think that you have such a beautiful heart whereas i feel like maybe in the past there's been situations where people have like what you've given instead of who you truly are um and i think you know this because I, I see that something that you've like worked on um and i do see a lot of you guys like putting in boundaries with people but i feel like moving forward i think what you're looking for and i think what will make you flourish and make you um feel good in regards to connections is people that give back to you you know what i mean and, and pull back into you you know give us being with give us you know i think that's what you um you deserve you know so pile number one pile number one please spirit guides what do my pile number ones truly deserve back in their connections what do my pile number ones deserve back at their table We have the lovers. Pile number one, please. Pile number one, please. What do my pile number ones truly deserve? Back page of swords. Nine of wands. And one more card, please, for guys. One more card. What are my pile number ones? truly deserve back in their connections what are my pile number ones desire to have back in their connections what five of cups i think that you have a really rich and beautiful internal world and i think you have a very beautiful connection to your um inner child i keep hearing the word delicate meaning that you guys i feel like you guys are very connected to your emotions I feel like you guys are really connected to your heart space and I feel like you guys have a strong sense of empathy. I keep being shown your heart space like, and I keep wanting to say the word delicate, like that's your energy. But what I was saying about the inner child is I feel like you guys are really creative individuals and I feel like you guys like, I almost see you guys getting excited about like little things and wanting to do really like fun little things. And I see maybe people around you, it's almost like, I don't know if maybe in your childhood you didn't get to have as much fun as a child maybe you had to grow up as like a parentified child and had to look out for people around you or maybe you guys um maybe there was just a lot going on when you were growing up and you weren't able to express yourself or express your creativity as much as you would have liked because i see naturally in your like later years i feel like your inner child is like your key to abundance and i feel like you guys um like the way i want to describe it is like i see you guys being really fun like i feel like in a lot of your connections and relationships, I almost feel like you have to push your inner child down to kind of cater to people. Or you've had to do that a lot of your life. Like, the inner child version of you, it's almost like, right, we're going to self-sacrifice, you know, having fun in a relationship or having fun in this friendship or having fun in this connection because I have to take care of this. I have to take care of this person's emotional needs, this person's physical needs. So you never really got to, to let your inner child bloom and i feel like what you truly deserve in connections and relationships is people that hold space for these beautiful creative sides of you and these beautiful emotional sides of you um and your empathy and that really optimistic outlook of life that your inner child has i feel like you deserve people that allow that to bloom you know what i mean um i feel like you deserve people that just let you have fun i feel like a lot of, i'm not gonna lie i feel like a lot of your connections in the past um it could even be some connections that you have in your life right now tend to pull at you because i think that you give so much and i think that you hold space for people and i think you really nurture people i think people sometimes forget that you're not just what you have to give and you have a really beautiful heart and you're actually a really fun person and it's almost like people in the past have almost like associated you with like oh this person looks out for me this person makes me feel good this person does this and that but then they forget but well, what about this person what can i give to this person and i really do think you deserve someone that gives to you the way you give to other people but also hold space and make sure inner child feels safe enough to come out and not feel like they have to put their big you know big boy big girl caps on and emotionally um hold space for like everyone in the room or physically show up for everyone in the room like yes we want to hold space for the people we love and yes we want to do things for people that we love but i feel like with that sometimes people can almost expect then and that's where we 
sometimes we'll feel that need to then overgive and then we become the nurturer but then we don't get nurtured and I think what you truly deserve back in your connections is someone that nurtures you back and allows your inner child to have fun and be creative and do the things that light you up and that feed you because I think what feeds you naturally is um what feeds you naturally I want to say is creativity what feeds you naturally is like play what feeds you and lights you up is feeling nurtured you know receiving that love back and having a beautiful place to express love where it's received back in a more balanced way and I think sometimes with your connections you've dealt with people that have like you've given a lot to and you haven't received a lot back and I feel like you've then felt depleted because I keep being shown some of you guys saying I prefer being on my own because I don't get drained but connections aren't meant to drain us and I think sometimes you've had people in your life that just being around them you've had to jump into a certain role which has had you um feel extremely drained and depleted and need in a lot of alone, alone time whereas with people that hold space for you and are, are, as connected to their inner child and and pour into you in that way and want to do those fun things with you and allow you the safe space to be creative or express certain emotions I feel like that's where you get energized and I feel like that's where you become a lot more extroverted than you may even realize um and I think that's what you really really truly deserve back the back of the deck we have the eight of swords reversed and it's interesting that we have that reversed because I feel like I don't know if it's like earlier life like childhood and maybe it then trickled into when you had dynamics growing up or relationships growing up. But with the Eight of Swords reversed, it, it's almost like the connections you've had in earlier life. I feel like I've got like a web, you know, she's tangled in this um, string. I almost feel like I've got a web around me and like all these cords around me. And they're like connected to what people want from me and connected to what people expect from me and connected to what people need from me you know what I mean and then I feel guilty to not give it even though I'm super drained whereas with the eight of swords reverse the people that you then deserve in your life and what you deserve back in your table is people that see you truly see you and want the best for you and pour into you um and enjoy that part of your inner child that wants to go and do those fun things and enjoy that part of your you know creativity where you're I don't know painting your walls a certain color and you know drawing or painting or creating jewelry and things like that like you deserve people that love that back like like-minded people and it's interesting that when I was being shown Cinderella with the mice and and the birds creating that kind of like dress for her like I think that you have such a beautiful way of making other people feel a million dollars and like I'm thinking of like Cinderella making dresses for everyone else but then she didn't have one and it's like you deserve I think that you pour into people and you make people feel really good. Like, I see you guys as people in connections that, like, you will leave them not only feeling good about themselves, but giving them tips to, like, better themselves. Like, oh, you should do your hair like that. Or I saw this skincare brand and that would really suit, like, suit you. Or I saw this pa pair of heels and they're from here and I know a coupon that can get you this off. So that person leaves you with, like, all of these ideas on how to, like, make themselves feel good and they feel really good about themselves because you've given them all of these compliments. Whereas, like... I feel like sometimes you don't get them back and you deserve people that are gonna, you know, scrap together this beautiful dress and, and make you feel a million dollars. You deserve people that shine the spotlight back on you. I think you're such a sunny, vibrant person that makes people feel good and uplifted. You really do deserve that back. You deserve somebody to, you know, fairy godmother and, and, and make sure you're having a good time because I kind of feel, I, I'm being shown from friends, Monica, if you haven't watched friends, um, Monica, everyone kind of hangs out in Monica's apartment mostly and she's like the host and she makes sure everything's like put together and done and I feel like you're that type of person that makes sure everything's running smoothly, makes sure everything's looking beautiful, making sure everyone's feeling good but then it's like sometimes because you're the one doing it I feel like you, you fail to receive that back and what you deserve in connections is people that do that back and get equally as excited back um, and that's something that I'm really picking up here because I think that your world is so beautiful and I think that energy you give out I'm not saying to stop giving it out 
because it's beautiful to love people and give people to give to people and nurture but one make sure you're getting it back and make sure you're giving it to yourself too so you know how to receive it so that you know how to recognize when other people also have that same flank and give that back to you because then you will be in connections where you're given to them and they're given to you and there's that boundary there you know um that it's, it's a give and take because uh, I feel like a lot of the times with the five of cups I think you've given so much even if it's just like attention to somebody like um, just being somebody's friend and I think sometimes people don't even see how much that means to you you know you're giving out that love because you truly care about the person and you're giving out that energy because you know not because you, you necessarily want anything back you just want to make someone feel good whereas I feel like sometimes people then forget that you're a person and you deserve to be made to feel good too and you deserve to have these things back too um yeah 100% I want to pull some oracle cards now and, and go a bit further I think that you forget as well because of how much you give out how beautiful your energy is and how much you help people by pouring into them and giving to them um and I think you're such a light in a lot of people's lives but it doesn't mean that people can just take and then not give back to you you know what I mean um but you deserve somebody to make you feel safe that your inner child can come out and I feel like I don't know, maybe in childhood, some of you guys didn't have the spotlight on you as much. Um, or there were certain things you might have been deprived of. Because I, I notice sometimes, like, attention and people getting attention, it's become very demonized. And I get, like, the attention-seeking part. But wanting attention isn't a bad thing. And we're taught a lot of the times, especially in childhood, that, like, wanting attention is, like, a bad thing. But we deserve to feel good. And, and we deserve to um have that energy back on us and have that attention especially if we're doing something good we deserve the accolades we deserve all of that and I feel like you give so much attention because I'm being shown the sun like I, I feel like you give so much attention to people attention to details what people like you know what type of cake does this person like I'm gonna get that I won't be able to have any because I don't like that but I want to make sure that they have it because it's good whereas I feel like that same attention back on you that's what you really deserve back and I feel like that's something your inner child deserves um back you know 100 percent. maybe you felt like you were deprived of attention in childhood because a lot of how you're gonna bloom is is that nurturing back of the inner child um yeah and that same passion because i feel like you give so much you're very passionate about the people in your life you deserve the same energy back you know there's a tiktok sound at the moment and it's like more passion more passion more energy it is like it's, it's really funny and i like i'm hearing that in my mind's eye like in my mind's eye i'm hearing that in my mind like i feel like you deserve that back i see your inner child like no i deserve more passion i deserve more energy that's what i'm um hearing i also feel like you're a very enthusiastic you're a really enthusiastic person you deserve that equal amount of light you know in in regards to or even just people honoring that part of you you know honoring that that version of you because i see you almost getting excited about little things like you could get excited about christmas and wanting to like romanticize christmas and then almost feeling this feeling of oh, i shouldn't be doing that or i'm too old to do that or people are gonna make fun of me or you know and i, I see you almost looking at it then through the lens of some other people that may project onto you and then it's almost like i'm wanting to dim my light but you deserve people that are like that love that version of you and love that part of you and want to keep that light going you know Pile number one, please, spirit guides. What do my pile number ones deserve at that table? Oh, God. One card went one way and two cards went the other way. I didn't even see that card fall up. We have the alchemist. We have self-love. We have the creator and I'm gonna pull one more pile number pile number one please for guides pile number one what do my pile number one is truly deserve back in their connections okay we have the weaver and the back of the deck we have get wild you get wild at the back of the deck. Sorry if the light's a little bit dim because we're having a storm today and it's um, it's very grey outside. So hopefully 
it's not too dim for you guys uh the alchemist self-love the creator the weaver i feel like sometimes a lot of people look at you as as like cinderella like what, what does she say bibbidi bobbidi boo like i feel like some people see you guys as like fairy godmother um and like showing up for people and like looking out for people and i think a, a lot of your connections in the past have been people kind of like expecting you to show up and you know like cinderella was in distress when she showed up so it's almost like i feel like people expect that from you sometimes whereas you're your own person you have your own life you have your own emotions that you work through you have your own situations that you work through and you also deserve to have that back where well, you may not be feeling the best and you want somebody to lean on and you need somebody to um express certain emotions and things that come up and i you really do deserve that back um and you deserve to be around people that want to give that to you too and want to pull that into you too the fact that you do that for other people and there's a lot of you watching shows there are people out there other than yourself that do give and do nurture back and want people to be the best version of themselves and those are the people that i feel like you deserve to be around um and i feel like what draws that in then is self-love and giving all of that energy to yourself and allowing your inner child to feel safe and allowing your inner child to shine listening and connecting to your inner child and what it is that your inner child feels safe with which i feel like for a lot of you guys is creativity maybe romanticize in certain time periods maybe some of you guys grew up and you weren't able to romanticize easter christmas halloween things like that uh, maybe you weren't able to um maybe they weren't the best holidays for you or maybe that's just something that unleashes your creativity and you know styling certain things or doing your hair a certain way i feel like that's the way that you let your inner child come out through creativity and i feel like through self-love i feel like that's something that's really soothing to you and it allows your inner child to feel safe as well as allowing your inner child to feel any emotion that comes up even if it's a, an emotion that usually maybe in childhood you were taught to hide or maybe society taught you to hide which is like anger frustration you're allowed those feelings and just holding space for those feelings within yourself i feel like that teaches your inner child that is safe to do that and you'll be able to recognize <clears throat> sorry for my throat guys it's going to be corky for some reason you'll be able to recognize that and giving that to yourself your inner child will be able to point out this person makes me feel safe to do that and that's i feel what you deserve in regards to your connections um the alchemist the creator sorry guys my camera cut out but what i was saying is i feel like your inner child looks for people that they feel safe around and i feel like it's those people and when i say feel safe around i feel like people that make you feel safe and open it up and don't make you feel judged and then people that show like emotional consistency and physical consistency in your life and are dependable i feel like those are people that you know your inner child truly wants and deserves um so that you feel safe to not only express certain feelings and emotions um but also to feel safe in receiving that energy back and receiving that love back i think that's something that you truly truly deserve so pile number one that is your reading i really hope that you enjoyed hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did if you haven't watched my other reading yet which is what um you bring to the table for other people i'll have that link in the description box for you guys to go and head there as well um to see the opposite and yeah i hope you guys have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what it is that you truly deserve back in your relationships and connections so you guys chose the shell i'm gonna start with tarot and then we're gonna move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number two please spirit guides what is it that my pile number twos truly deserve back in their relationships and connections with others what is it that my pile number twos deserve back at their table what does their heart truly want in regards to their relationships what dynamics will help them flourish so we have the moon i feel like you guys are my water pile already from the shell to me feeling immersed in water and then you guys literally having the moon and she's immersed in water here so you guys may be my water pile pile number two Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two. What do my pile number two truly deserve? We have judgment. 
I think that one thing you truly deserve is somebody really seeing the sacredness in who you are. I also feel like you guys, as well as being my water pile, I feel like you guys may be quite connected to spirit, connected um, to your psychic gifts very strongly. And I feel like sometimes with that in the everyday world, that version of us can really go unnoticed um, and doesn't really get nurtured as much, um, especially when people don't really understand that part, you know, of us. And I feel like you guys are very good in jumping out of the water, coming onto land and speaking human language. But I feel like when you do that, I think that's a little bit of an effort for you guys to do. Like when you guys come up to, I'm being shown like the little mermaid when she comes up to land and like the amount of leaps and bounds that girl took in the little mermaid to just even be with Prince Eric, that's, that's a lot. That took a lot of her to do. Whereas I feel like you deserve someone to equally come into the ocean and really understand your depths and emotions too are also someone that d um resides in those deep that deeper sides and resides in that energy as well in regards to um seeing things very deeply or connecting to spirit in that way because i think that you deserve that version of you to be seen and i think a lot of times maybe you've settled for people that didn't quite see that version of you didn't quite see um that part of you which is truly who you are and i think I'm being told the more you grow as a person and also the more you get older, I feel like you guys um, are residing in that energy a lot more. So you're not stepping out of who, who you truly are to accommodate, you know what I mean? Especially when it goes against your own internal rhythm. And that's where I feel like you're going to meet more people that are like-minded because I think when you have connections with people that don't see your depth and your you know, in a world that way or your connection to spirit in that way. That's so many versions of you that they're missing out on. So they're not truly seeing you. And I feel like you deserve people that see you, to people that understand those rhythms, you know, like when you're saying to yourself, because I, I really do feel like you're really connected to spirit. I feel like when you're saying to yourself, you know, um, you know, it's a full moon and I'm really feeling this influx of emotions and um, I just really need to have time to myself today and purge you deserve people that are going to understand that you deserve people that are really going to get that and maybe not judge you for that or just not quite understand that part of you like if you're doing inner child work you know and you need time to grieve or you know um you're doing shadow work and you need time to go inward you deserve connections with people that are not going to get the hump because you're not showing up for them because you're going through something you really do deserve connections with people that understand that part of you either because they're going through it too or they're just more open-minded and have that level of depth because that version of you deserves to be seen and loved too and i sometimes feel like you shut that version of you away when it comes to relationships and connections and you really do deserve people to see that and i think one of the ways in already existing connections that you can do that is really showing up as that version of yourself in every day and being unapologetic in what it is you're going through and feeling you know I've maybe been connecting with spirit or doing Reiki healing or something like that and I'm a little bit you know drained today or I'm just working through those emotions and processing them you have every right to say that out loud and not have to worry about who's judging that or not getting it like that's your life and you deserve people that you know are gonna really get that and understand that you know i i remember like when i started doing the work that i do i remember people around me like expecting me to um shift my work around and i'd be able to like do readings and then all of a sudden jump up and do x y and z and blah 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 and it's like that doesn't work like that but they didn't quite understand um the weight that goes into the work that i do you know i'd have people wanting like free readings for me around me and being like can you do this can you do that why didn't you tap into this now why didn't you clear that for me now and it's like i can't just jump up and do that feel like that takes a lot from me and i think you deserve people that understand that anything like that because it could even be that you guys are like counselors therapists and things like that as well um it could be that you guys are just really connected to your emotions in that way or connected to your psychic gifts in that way. You deserve people that are either open-minded and, and and committed to understanding that version of you or holding space for that version of you or people that also are on that same wave because I feel like sometimes in connections and relationships you may feel a little bit like a fish out of water and you're like running around to a current that isn't your own and then you may feel distressed or you may feel frustrated or you may feel um sorry guys I didn't need to do that or you guys may feel uncomfortable and it's like 
when was the last time those people came into the ocean and understood what it is that you like to do you know what i mean um you know you may have people you may have had people that were really like fast paced and rushing about and that's not how you move that makes you ungrounded and you deserve to have those needs met i think sometimes you forget that and that's something that you truly deserve to have nurtured and met um because especially with you guys choosing the shell and like i'm thinking of like the ocean and like sea urchins and things and sea creatures when they're in those shells it's like there's a current above them but they flow with the current and when they don't when they feel like um you know something's gonna take them or something is um not making them feel safe they'll go into their shell and i also think you deserve people in your life that understand and are delicate with who you are like similar to pile number one i think you deserve and truly desire somebody that makes you feel safe but someone that also honors um how do i put this into words like i'm being shown this really beautiful creature in the shell and then someone's almost like not understanding the requirements that that shell needs and it's almost like taking that shell and taking the not really caring about the the, the um the sentient being inside of it and then it's just like oh i want to keep the shell and then it's like you deserve somebody that sees that shell honors that shell like looks out for that shell and provides a stable place for whatever it is that's residing inside of that shell to come out because i feel like maybe sometimes because you have such a vibrant energy anyway i feel like sometimes people just expect you to just bounce out of your shell and perform for them sometimes or just be um I, i'm being shown sometimes i think you guys may be quite attractive and your energy is quite attractive because i see people sometimes trying to nab at you and almost wanting you as like a prized possession not really respecting that there's a sentient being inside of that shell and i feel like you deserve somebody that nurtures that inside of you and creates that safe environment for you to come out of the shell and honors when you need to go back in that's what i really truly deserve you and you deserve someone that is able to move at your pace and go to your depths because otherwise there's so much of you that isn't being seen you know and honored and you deserve all of that part of you to be honored whereas i feel like sometimes you'll go to those depths just by yourself and you don't get seen at those depths and you deserve someone to see you there pile number you deserve someone to honor your sacredness pile number two what are my pile number twos truly deserve in their relationships we have the magician you have a lot of major arcanas here pile number pile number two what do my pile number twos truly deserve back at their table oh we have two more cards we have the knight of swords and the seven of cups let me just move everything over so that you can see all of the cards um there's a lot of blue here and like water around and then the seven of cups here as well um the moon judgment the magician in the middle knight of swords and seven of cups yeah you deserve someone that's delicate with your emotions and your sensitivity you deserve somebody that understands the weight of your emotions and doesn't just try and fumble you you know i feel like some people they're so drawn in by you and i think that they're so drawn into the energy that you possess i think you guys are my healers and that's beautiful but you also have your own emotions and your own inner world and i feel like sometimes people are so drawn in to have you around and have that healing energy that they forget how to replenish that within you and they don't maybe provide that back and i think sometimes people are a little bit with the seven of cups careless with what it is that you have to offer like you um like i see somebody like vent into you and you really hold in space but then you take on that energy and then i feel like that person is like oh you make me feel good when i'm around you and then they just kind of like walk away and you're like you've just taken on a lot of frustration and a lot of like you've taken on a lot for them and they're not really understanding the depth of it and they've kind of fumbled it and not it's almost like a kid i'm thinking of like the way i'm being shown is like an avatar 
one of Tiri meets Jake and obviously he's in the avatar body but he's a human so he doesn't understand that world so he's not treating that world with respect and she's like you're like a baby making noise you don't know what to do and he ends up in his like callous act because he doesn't understand that world he doesn't understand the sacredness he ends up having these creatures like these little animals in that world killed because he um he starts causing like a scene with like fire and then um Naturi has to like basically take them out and she basically says this was all your fault this didn't need to happen and she says you're like a baby you know you're like ignorant like a child and I feel like sometimes people don't understand the depth of your energy like that and I think you guys are very emotional and emotionally intelligent and I feel like sometimes people that aren't able to see that and, and reach those depths I feel like sometimes they'll fumble your energy a little bit and I think that's where you need to put in boundaries and and really honor your own sacredness because I feel like that's where people will be like oh this really takes a lot out of them or this really is a lot for them because I see people with the knight of swords like rushing towards you for that healing energy but I think what you deserve is people that realize you're more than just a healer and a teacher and a help other people you have your own likes you have your own dislikes you have your own heart you know with, with your own feelings and you have your own desires and you have all of these beautiful things inside of you that you deserve met too and that you deserve to allow out you know you're not always supposed to be on and um healing you know to it's like when you look at like earth and like the waters like our waters are being contaminated because human beings aren't looking after our waters the way that they are and because of that there's species of like there's like coral reefs like dying and there's like you know fish and and sharks that are just being like poached and hurt because of humans being ignorant and all these things being dumped into the ocean because humans are being ignorant and it's like they're not understanding the sacredness of our waters but then they benefit from it all the time and I think that you deserve someone that treasures those parts of you and sees those part of you but I think that for that you need people that's have that same depth within themselves and have that same healing energy within themselves you deserve like-minded people um 100 and i think that you guys in this life are going to go through a lot of growth and a lot of because i'm being shown the magician like i'm being shown someone being an alchemist and growing and evolving and i think you deserve people that are going to give you the space to grow and evolve but i think you also deserve to have people in your life that have also grown and evolved to meet your depths and understand the way that you move and understand your currents otherwise you're going to feel a, like a fish out of water in a way um and always feeling like you're not getting what you deserve back um which really is just that pure love but met at your depths and met at your understanding and it's not to say that like oh your depths are better than somebody else's and you're better than someone else that's not what it is but we all in these lifetimes we will have a certain area of our life where we are very you know there's a huge expansion in and um I feel like that area for you was like the spiritual side the emotional side and I think it's a huge chunk of you and you deserve people to see you you know um and the back of the deck you guys have the hanged man why do we have the hanged man at the back of the deck I feel like as well, what I'm getting with the Hanged Man card is, I don't know why, I, I know this might sound strange, but I'm seeing you guys having to be responsive, be responsible for other people's emotions in the sense of, you may have in childhood had to really use your gifts of like class sentience and your emotions to read the room so like you may have had like a parent their emotions were a bit unstable so you would then pick up on the change in atmosphere the change in energies the change in emotion with people and i feel like you deserve people that truly come to you and say what they mean and say what they feel um and truly say that in, in a very adult way because sometimes people don't will act in, in more of a young way where they won't really express their feelings and they'll be passive aggressive or they won't really express their feelings and they'll just like pull away or um, they won't really tell the whole truth and you deserve people that really come to you and stand in their truth and, and are authentic. I hope that makes sense. Instead of you having to guess, because I don't know why, I, it, it sounds odd, it, it's hard for me to put into words, but with the hanged man, I keep being shown you guys having to guess like guess what like so you're in a connection and you're seeing someone guess what they're thinking guess what they're feeling because they're not communicating properly and you deserve people to really come to you and be authentic as you are as authentic to them that's another thing that i want to say as well 
um, adult communication you deserve and I feel like you've dealt with people that haven't given you that which has caused you to have to lean in on your intuition and your feelings when somebody could just say something to you and I, I you know I don't think that's fair because then it keeps you in a state of limbo um you deserve people that are upfront and honest with you where did that card go oh here it is hang on I've got my bottle of water there so it was we have shower wisdom I think as well people come to you and will express things that are going on in their life and I think you have such beautiful wisdom um to offer them and I think that's such a beautiful thing that you bring to the table um but again like I said I think you should always do that because I think that's part of why you're here but I think that sometimes people look to you as like being the source of that and you know sometimes you may want to be in your shell for the day like you may want to just be chilling and be more in um what's the word um more in a 3d you know like more in connected to your physical body and connected to the physical world you don't want to be channeling to the heights and solving problems especially if you do that for work and i think that people around you should honor that within you and know that like you shouldn't have to be on for them all the time you know what i mean and when you do give these beautiful messages of knowledge and you do give that knowledge and help they should understand that that's a luxury and really understand the sacredness of that because i think sometimes you give like expert advice and i think sometimes people don't see the sacredness in the answers that you've just given and i think you deserve people to see that you know because they get it um what i want to say is you deserve like-minded individuals i keep being shown like you guys always are feeling like you have to come up to the shallow end and speak in a different language and it's like well what about coming to my end and seeing all that i am and i think and I want to say this, I think you should put that out there more. I think you should put who you truly are out there more. Even if sometimes you may feel a bit like, oh, people might not get me or people might project or people might not understand it. I think you should do it more, you know? Like, I see you guys wanting to say like, oh, I can't, like, I want to go uh, get moon water. I want to get, like, stuff from my altar. I want to get this. And I see you guys feeling like I shouldn't say that in a setting. I think you should do it more. I think people should really see that part of you and I think you'd be surprised how many people love that part of you and start to honour that part of you. I definitely think you should bring that out more, um, that version of you out more. And if people don't get it, people don't get it, it's fine, you know, because there will be people that will. But I definitely think you should bring it out more. Pile number... Because then I think people will understand the sacredness and the time that goes into things. We have the outlaw. What was funny is when I was talking about like human beings not respecting the ocean, I was being shown the scene from SpongeBob SquarePants when all of the like, you know, Patrick and SpongeBob and like all the other fish, they're like dried up in this like room and this guy's just taking them as like souvenirs. And I was thinking of that and like how the human beings in that world didn't honor, you know, like SpongeBob Patrick and all the little fish and stuff. And then I'm thinking of the boot here with Outlaw. I'm thinking of in the spongebob movie when the big cyclops guy he like stands on the the main villain guy i can't remember his name dennis something i don't know and he takes spongebob and patrick i was just thinking of that like you deserve people that aren't going to come into your world put their foot down and just take you out and you know have you for show or have you for what they need you for you deserve people that are going to come down build a dome like sandy did and understand your world too you know um and really get to know you there as well uh, because I feel like sometimes you feel like connections feel a little bit like half-assed and I think it's because they don't see a huge side of you um, and you deserve to have that side seen because that's a really beautiful side of you. Pile number two. Pile number two, please break guides. Pile number two. We have the creator. I get one more card. Pile number two. What do my pile number twos deserve back at their table? We have shadow. Especially if you do work with spirit and things like that. Like I feel like you guys are someone that does a lot of shadow work and works through a lot of emotions. And I think that you deserve someone that nurtures you when you're going through that too. Especially in relationships. Like you deserve people that understand that you're working through those emotions and 
working through those depths and really sees all the work that you do internally now i know it's kind of impossible for everyone to see all the work everyone's doing you know what i mean i know that's completely impossible but i do think that you deserve people that understand you know what you went through and the cycles that you go through i'm also being told some of you guys may um you guys may have had like a heavy childhood so you may still deal with um symptoms because of that i have to be careful what i say on youtube but like you guys may um you know have panic attacks so you guys may still have severe anxiety or you guys may still uh you know um I've even, I'm even being shown for some of you guys like certain like health conditions and you deserve and I'm being told to say this like you're not a burden to people because of them and you deserve people to understand that and nurture those parts of you uh you really do because I think on the if we put it on the other foot like you nurture other people when they go through certain things like that and you accommodate other people like that and you deserve to be accommodated there's almost this feeling of somebody feeling like i I'm asking for too much just being accommodated in this way you know what I mean and that's not asking too much at all um and there's a strong message coming through here like that's not asking for too much at all for whatever that is that, that that's being brought up here but um yeah that's a really strong message because I feel like you go through certain cycles you go through certain energies and you deserve to be supported in them uh 100% and you just deserve to be seen in the sacredness that you are and I think for that, I think people you need to align with people. And I think you deserve connections with people that understand their own sacredness too, to be able to honor it within you too. And there are people like that out here. There's a lot of you watching this, so there's more than one. And yeah, so pile number two, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hey, part three, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what it is that you truly deserve back at your table, what it is that you truly deserve back in regards to your relationships and connections, and what it is that your heart truly desires that will make yourself feel safe um, and how have you flourish in your connections. So you guys choose the moon, chose the, not moon pile, the ghost perfume pile that is coincidentally shaped like a moon. Um, I'm going to start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle cards. So let's get straight in. So pile number three. Pile number three, please, break guys. What are my pile number threes? Oh, that just jumped straight out. Sorry for the noise of the, the bed, guys. We have the four of pentacles straight away. What do my pile number threes deserve at their table? What are my pile number threes? Hearts truly desire we have the three of pentacles okay what do my pile number three is truly deserve and desire we have the nine of wands i'm hearing that song when the going gets tough you know i i don't know what lyric it is i just heard when the going gets tough but i don't know like the other lyrics but i'm hearing the tough gets going i know that's like a saying but i don't know if it's actually a song but it must be because it came through to me in a rhythm. Um, but when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. I feel, before I pull another card, I feel like you guys are incredibly loyal to the people in your life. And I think that you're the type of person to stick through people thick and thin. Stick with people thick and thin. I think you really are a ride or die. You really deserve that back. Like, you really do. Um, 100%. Like, I almost feel, I see, like, for a lot, like, for a lot of you, you've had to go through, through things alone, um, go through a lot of your tough battles alone, and you've kind of maybe felt like, I don't want to be a burden on people, or I don't want to drag people down to where I'm at at the moment, because I'm going through it, and I don't want to express this to certain people, because it's not their problem but then I feel like when other people are going through harder times I feel like you're the first person they reach out to and I think that you deserve 
people that stick with you through the journey because i see you having to like walk up a castle like i'm being shown like a castle but it's like right at the top of like a mountain and to get up that is like um a pathway and it's spiraling around the castle and on that pathway it's like i know i'm gonna have to endure some things and i feel like i see you having to like go through like a storm on that on that pathway and having to like i'm seeing boulders coming down you're having to dodge them and it's almost like you're doing that by yourself and people are watching like they know you're going through some things but like they're not stepping in but then the minute you get up to the castle it's like they're all wanting to run up to the castle and be in the castle with you and it's like who said you're eating at the feast you didn't make anything and i think you deserve people in your life pal three that um that really show out for you and really respect and understand what it is you've gone through and want to be there for your journey too um because it, i don't know why it was just quite interesting there's like polar opposites and type of people that you've dealt with in the past you've either dealt with people that were like when you were down it was like they liked being around you but then when you started coming up and making moves for yourself it's like they faded but then i'm also being shown the other way where certain people may project onto you or not really respect things that you're going through when you're down but then the minute that you're up it's like they want a piece of the cake with you and everything feels conditional everything feels conditional like as long as you're not shining more than me or um when you get up to the top then i'll come because it's easier than easier for me but everything feels conditional whereas with you guys i feel like you're loyal to a t it doesn't matter the weather you're going to be there for people and you deserve that back because i keep feeling like you sometimes feel used sometimes in your connections i don't know if this is something you're healing currently because this is something that's quite prominent in your energy maybe you've had someone that's done this too recently but i feel like sometimes you'll feel like you've been used in certain situations because it's almost like you've had people that have been around you in regards to certain conditions whereas you deserve somebody to be around in every phase of your life like the the ghost perfume being in that shape of like the crescent moon like you deserve people that are able to be there for you and understand you in every phase and see the light in you in every phase and be loyal to you regardless not because of what it does for them um yeah i want to get deeper into this to be honest with you pile number three i think this is something you've had to deal with this might have been a heavy lesson in your life that you've had to work through pile number three what are my pile number threes deserve back in their relationships what are my pile number threes deserve back in their connections we have the devil at the back of the deck and we have the hierophant here four of pentacles why do we have the first of all why is the devil at the back of the deck have you had very karmic connections in your earlier life where you've learned a lot because i'm seeing that here with this devil card and i don't like that energy i really do feel like you've dealt with people like that and i think that may be why you've got quite shell solid boundaries um, because I am seeing that with you guys having very shell solid boundaries because it's like people can take and I know because it's happened um four of pentacles three of pentacles nine of wands the hierophant why am I being shown Winnie the Pooh and Piglet walking together the hierophant the nine of wands I don't know if when you were younger you dealt with people or maybe family members or again could be just society's conditionings where they made you feel like you couldn't ask for help but you had to be on farm for everybody else um and for this it feels more physical it feels like i'm showing out in the physical and it feels like i have to be loyal and i have to put up with things that people are going through and i have to like stand and be and be loyal for everyone and it's like i'm doing that with everyone in my life even when they've effed up like i'm super understanding of the fact that they've effed up and i'm still here whereas it feels like in reverse i feel like there's then a lack you deserve people that really see the ride that you've been on i'm here in the climb by miley cyrus like you deserve people that really understand all how do I put this into words? I'm seeing you changing and evolving a lot because of circumstances. So it's like different versions of you emerging. And then I see people almost like getting intimidated by 
how do I put this into words? Like, you guys putting in boundaries and then people get intimidated that you're putting in boundaries when really they should be ecstatic for you as they've actually seen you maybe be taken advantage of so they know that that's happened so they should be ecstatic but instead it's almost like I'm getting frustrated or I feel intimidated and it's almost then like I don't know why I don't like the vibes I'm getting I feel like you've had very calm connections because there's almost this vibe of people around you feeling like they're in competition with you then or that's what I mean. Like, I feel like you've had certain people in certain phases of your life that it wasn't that they enjoyed you being down, but when you started climbing the stairs and, and making moves, it was almost like, I feel intimidated now. But I didn't feel intimidated before because you were going through things so you were occupied with other things. Whereas now it's like, I'm looking at you as competition. And I should be looking at friendships and things like that as competition. And then it's like, I'm seeing you where you're at in your life now. Where you're maybe emerging from a cocoon or you're evolving or you're growing and then it's almost like people that it's like people are almost like kind of getting frustrated of that but then I also see people trying to come and eat the cake with you when people enjoy the luxuries that are in your life now when they weren't around for your hardest parts or when you were growing into who you are now they were stepping away Whereas now they're wanting to be a part of it and now they're wanting to eat the cake with you and now they're wanting to have the accolades with you and it's like I see you guys being a little bit fed up and jaded in regards to connections, which I feel like it's more on your energy right now because, like I said, it's something I feel like you're working through. Um, I'm more so being I'm also being shown a story than I am being shown what it is that you deserve back so i'm gonna pull more cards in regards to what you deserve back but i feel like i'm meant to see this story i feel like you guys have gone through a lot in your life and had to deal with things by yourself um in your hardest times i want more this reading's taken a t different turn than the other two what do my pal number threes deserve in their relationships I feel like you guys may be going through a phase where you feel a bit jaded of opening up to other connections and relationships because you feel like people are quite fickle. I see you feeling like people are fickle and I see you with heavy boundaries. Um, and I think that's something you're processing right now, which is why it's showing up quite strong. What do my pile number threes deserve in their relationships? What does their heart truly want? We have the four of wands. What do my pile number deserve the temperance card pile number three i'm almost feeling a little bit of a resistance to like with you guys wanting people to come into your life because it's like you've had i, I feel like you've been purging or releasing certain karmic connections and people that have taken from you or people that have been fickle and not had your best interests at heart or had very conditional relationships with you when you may have given your all and i feel like there's a jaded feeling um this is gonna pass but if you are feeling that way, way right now it's okay um and if you are feeling a bit void in that in that part of your heart space right now that is okay because i do see it opening up for you but just allow any feelings of anger or frustration to come out right now especially if that's something that you're like purging like i always say my comment section is safe to vent i don't take venting like to heart like if you've got something to purge out like or speak about it's a safe space to do that um but i see a lot of frustration with you guys where you've really shown up for people and they haven't really understood what it is you were going through but then wanted the more superficial side of you or wanted, you know, the, to share the accolades with you. The back of the deck, we have the Knight of Swords, Four of Wands, Temperance, Ace of Wands. I think that you guys are so super um, authentic. I think you're authentic in regards to what you feel with people. I think you're authentic in regards to your loyalty. I don't see you stepping towards people because of how they make you feel or what they can do for you. You really do step towards people because when they're in your life, I feel like you treat them as family. And I think you would treat them as an extension of yourself. And you really do see people on a really deep level like that. And you really do show up for people in that way. You wholeheartedly deserve that back. You wholeheartedly deserve people that are going to celebrate with you. People that are going to pull back equally 
into you and people that really understand what it is that you've gone through and what you fought through and really cherish that part of you and understand that part of you um and that are there for you through thick and thin the way you are there for other people um you really do truly deserve that you deserve people that hype you up the way that you hype people up you deserve connections with people that are emotionally there for you the way that you are emotionally there for people I think you are definitely somebody that gives your all um and I think that because I almost want to say because this is coming through from spirit especially if you've been spending a lot of time on your own you are going to draw in people that are very are like you especially now that you've learned to have these boundaries um people that are almost going to feel like soul family um but I see like a very small circle like I see you having a very small circle and I think because I keep being shown like um friends that are really authentic and very open and honest with you you know what I mean and very um vocal about their feelings with you I feel like for some of you guys um maybe in childhood you gave a lot and maybe in childhood you didn't have certain needs met so maybe you because a lot of you know children do this and our inner child continue to do this where when we're not our needs aren't met and it's you know needs that really should be being met we will then project onto our parents or our environment that they're better than what they are or that they're given certain needs um to us and it's, it's more like a fantasy really we'll project that and then to protect us and that feeling of feeling neglected or feeling rejected in childhood as we get older we'll then you know have people in our life that don't really give as much but we'll project onto them that they do in hopes that they will fulfill that role um and it's our inner child trying to um trying to mend what happened in childhood and trying to uh have something answered to them so if let's just say our father stepped away from us when we were young it's almost like we'll project that our father was the best you know person ever and then we'll be drawn to people that maybe abandon us or drawn to people that are emotionally unavailable because it's like if I can make this person stay this means I'm worthy to stay and it's like our inner child then uses that as a substitute and then through life then it's almost like we'll project that onto people and I feel like for you guys I feel like you naturally show up for people you're naturally your authentic self you're naturally loyal so why would you think that somebody else wouldn't be like that and I feel like you had situations where people have really let you down or people haven't shown up for you in the way that you'd show up for other people and you wholeheartedly with everything that you give out you deserve all of that back and I think you guys are actually very aware of what it is that you give out um and what it is that you bring to the table and I think it's a lot and I think one of them is integrity and authenticity you deserve all of that back you deserve people that are gonna ride or die are gonna be ride or die for you and that treat you like family and treat you as an extension of themselves and have that respect and have that love for you you know what I mean um I think sometimes in the past and it was I feel when you were younger I feel like sometimes your kindness was almost taken for granted and you deserve people that are equally as kind back and equally as given back um i think you guys have had some quite karmic relationships in your earlier years uh to help you really establish what it is you truly want and help you really establish certain boundaries so that you don't have people coming towards you with conditions you know because i think that you guys may have find it hard to pick one pile because I think there's a lot you give so you may have been drawn to like a couple of piles I don't think this was the only pile you were drawn to to be honest with you um but I do think there's something being purged in regards to your connections with others right now I'm so sorry guys I think that you guys are purging something there because with this pile more than the other two there was a lot of stop stopping and starts and it was almost like I was being breadcrumbed at times and I think it's because it's, there's realizations you're currently working through um and clear in regards to this topic which is why it felt a little bit like rocky and choppy when I was channeling um I'm gonna pull some oracle cards now though so sorry if it was a little bit choppy pile number three what do my pile number threes deserve at their table what is the heart truly look for the thing is you're someone that looks at people in your life as family you deserve people that welcome you into that and see you as family too you know um because i think that 
when you say something, you mean it. When you cry, it's for a reason. When you show up for someone, it's because you genuinely care. And I don't think you just randomly say things in a very flippant, light-hearted way. I think you genuinely mean what you say and you deserve to have that back and that same authenticity back. So you have the Magi pile number. We have this card that fell as well, destruction. Pile number. I keep being shown you like going through something and needing time to yourself and then people getting annoyed at you. And that's not fair. Like you deserve people that understand that you're going to be going through motions. You're going to be going through certain situations. You're going to be needing time to yourself. You can't always be on for people. You deserve people that get that and know that you need space and know that there's that version of you that, you know, may be going through um, shadow work and doing healing, may be needing just to isolate or feeling overwhelmed. You deserve to have a safe space to do that without people projecting that you're not being, you know, you're not being what I need you to be right now. So I'm going to step away and not being there for you. You know, like I don't, I feel like it's very imbalanced there. I think you've dealt with that and it's 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 not fair on you. Because with destruction and death, I feel like you've gone through a lot. You've had to transmute a lot. You've had to say goodbye to, you know, certain people and let go of people. I think you've gone through a lot of pain. And I think when you can show up for people, then it's like people are almost like taking it to heart. Because it's like, I liked you on that condition, but they should love you in all conditions, you know? Um pile number three i think this is let me know if you'd like me to do a reading on um like wounds in regards to like connections with others and like relationships with others and i don't know with this reading in what way to word it but if you're going through something that i've been explaining let me know what type of reading you'd like because i can write that down um, especially as we're moving into the next couple of months I want to be doing some more like shadow work type of reading so um, let me know what type of topic in regards to that you'd like because I would love to do that for you guys if you'd want me to we have connect to heart as well this is what I mean you show up with your heart and your sleeve you show up authentic you deserve that same authenticity back you know like you could have been someone as well in the past and maybe people pleased whereas now you're somebody that speaks your mind and then you may find that people don't like that but it's like people should respect that people should love that you're speaking your mind because people should care about you and see that growth and love that you're able to do that you know what I mean um and that's why you may be feeling like oh well you must have only loved me on a certain condition or something like that and yes yeah, sometimes people take a minute to adapt to certain change but I just feel like you have dealt with people that have just stepped away when the going's got tough, you know? The back of the deck, we have self-love, but it's reversed. And I think that's maybe what you've been on, a self-love journey and moving through connections that were conditional, um, where you were maybe giving a lot to them or showing up, but they weren't pouring back into you and you've been learning to give to yourself. Because that's another transformation I'm seeing here with these two cards in the middle, destruction and death. I feel like, you know you really evolved and you deserve people that understand all that you've been through and all that you do and really understand your authenticity and your heart because a lot of people wear masks and they wear masks in their connections and you deserve people that take off their mask and see you and meet you the way that you do them yeah so pile number three that's what I had for you this one was a little bit choppy but I really hope I was able to explain everything the way it came through I know it went a little bit off topic but I have to honor what is ch being channeled through um so i hope this resonated i hope this helped hit the thumbs up and comment down below if it did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal thought welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what it is that you truly deserve back in your relationships what it is that you deserve back at your table and what your heart truly desires in relationships and connections so you guys chose the amethyst bonsai tree i'm gonna start with tarot and then we'll move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number four please spirit guides pile number four tap me into the collective of my pile number fours what is it that my pile number fours truly deserve We have the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. What is it that my pal number fours truly deserve in regards to their 
relationships. We have the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands that flipped over together. Pile number four, please, for guides. Pile number four. What is it that my pile number fours truly deserve back in regards to their relationships? What is it that my pile number fours truly deserve back in regards to their relationships? Eight of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords at the back of the deck. Um, I keep being shown like a firefly that's like bursting with ideas, bursting with like excitement, bursting with um, like happiness. And then I almost feel like the sun has literally just hit my face as I've said that. And it's been like stormy all day. And then for y'all pile, the sun's just burst out. Um, and that's how I feel when I'm, when I'm tapping into your energy. Like you feel like someone that's very vibrant. And then I almost feel like, I feel like I've got to turn, I've got to tune myself down or I've got to quiet myself or I've got to put myself in a box or I've got to move slower in order to be understood and move in a way, how do I put this, like I'm being shown a shark trying to, um, trying to slow itself down to be the same pace as a, a sea snail and I almost feel like the fast paced way I'm moving or the ideas that I have or the, um, the excitement that I just feel from every day, I have to bottle it, I have to put it down, that lightning in the bottle, I have to iron it out in order to make people get me or in order to make people feel comfortable and I think you deserve people that in your life that are equally as excited as you, equally as happy as you, equally you know ready to be on the go with you. I think that you deserve people that make you acknowledge and love that part of yourself instead of feeling like you have to tailor yourself to what other people are doing you know maybe you guys move and look at life in a completely different way like maybe you guys um in regards to like work and your career like maybe you want to do things that go against the norm or maybe you want to travel or maybe you don't even have an idea of what it is you want to be you just want to be you maybe want to travel you maybe want to um just pursue different things and get to know yourself but then you almost feel like maybe i should box myself in so that other people can understand me but you deserve people that not only love this version of you and you know the way that you move and the way that you um like to look at life but you also deserve people that are able to move at that pace with you um you deserve like-minded individuals and i feel like sometimes for you guys you may feel like there aren't many people around you that see life the way that you do and that's why you're being called to shine regardless and the right people are going to come to you because you deserve people that love um love seeing things in a different way love seeing things maybe in a more spiritual way or in a more emotional way or in a more creative way or in a higher you know in a more higher perspective way maybe there are people that love um there are people out there that love to travel or love to go and sightsee and do all of these fun things like i feel like your mind is so cool and the things you want to do and the things you want to see and experience and I see someone wanting to try different foods and all of that and maybe you're somebody that's extra right and likes to dress up when they go like to places that you know normal people just dress down to you deserve people that love that about you you deserve people that encourage that about you you deserve people that shine that light back to you and, and get excited with you and honor that part of you instead of people that make you feel like that version of yourself needs to be toned down you really truly deserve people that are going to cheer for you and cheerlead you um and hype that part of you up because that's a part where your inner child or just your internal self wants to express itself that's a part where your internal world wants to show up and and explore you know what i mean and that's such a beautiful part of you that needs to be seen and needs to come out and i feel like sometimes you feel like you need to hide it away to accommodate um the people around you but like these two people here it's like they're at a festival and they're like dancing about um and i really do feel like you deserve that you deserve to be celebrated you deserve people that want to have fun for no reason you deserve people that want to nurture you in a child like that and join you in a child like that and want to um ride those waves and have fun you know uh three of pentacles ace of wands i also feel like you deserve people that understand that you actually have a lot to give and a lot to teach in regards to the way that you move because it's almost a feeling like maybe the hometown that you live in or certain circles that you've had to move in or maybe you're in a job and it's like co-workers i feel like sometimes you'll have a completely different out 
outlook of something and view of something and I think that people could really learn from that and take that on and really see things from a more vibrant perspective and I feel like sometimes you feel like it's falling on deaf ears and you deserve to have your stories listened to you deserve to have your ideas listened to you deserve to have those parts of yourself nurtured and not feel like oh I just said something that was too out there or from a spiritual perspective too woo woo or from a creative perspective too wacky like you deserve to have people that get you like that and have like-minded individuals like that even if you have to like go out there and do things alone for some time the right people are gonna fall and and, and find you on those paths you know what I mean um because I feel like inside you're such an adventurous person you're somebody that's very creative and very much a wanderer and you deserve people that um don't look down on that and and even if it's not joining in, just respect that version of you and love that version of you. Even if they don't get it. Like, you'll see people sometimes and it's like, they may not get why somebody's doing something. So they'll project their version of life onto that person. Like, oh, that person's too slow for me. Or that person's too fast paced for me. Or that person's too out there for me. And it's like, okay. And like, you don't, you don't have to do what they're doing. And I think just that respect that like, you're your own person. I think that's something that you truly deserve. Because I think that you're somebody that's really, I want to say cool. I think you have really cool stories. I think you have such a open, optimistic outlook on life and picking up some strong Aries energy, some strong Sagittarius energy. Um, I'll say Leo as well, some fire energy here. And I feel like there's so much that you have to offer in that aspect. And I also think that you, um, like I see you accommodating people and making yourself like move slower with people and making yourself go into a box for other people. But then I feel like you also deserve people to come with you on these adventures too, because I think there's a lot that people could learn from you. I think there's a lot that people could learn in terms of confidence from you. I think there's a lot that people could learn in regards to um, looking at life from a higher perspective. I think there's a lot that people could learn in coming out of their shell and letting themselves get loose. And I think that you could really teach people. And I think people that do fall in your life and do follow that wave, I think people do come out of their shell and, and learn from you. And I think that part of you should be respected um, and not looked down on or frowned upon just because people are confused about it. Um, especially in regards as well to like talents that you have and creative pursuits that you have. Um, I think that you guys are extremely talented and I think you guys are full of wisdom. I think you look at life in such a cool way. I think you look at life in a lot of colours. And I think if people aren't going to join that ride with you, I think people should respect it and understand all it is that you bring because you bring such a beautiful and interesting outlook um to the to life that other people could really benefit from and you really do deserve to have that nurtured um is there anything else before i pull on to the oracle cards anything else before i pull on to these oracle cards three of pentacles ace of wands I do see quite a few people around you in regards to who you are as a person really loving and respecting you. It's more so what I'm being told you you need to hear that you deserve back is like I see you being like full of wisdom and really creative and then it's like you'll go into somebody else's world where you may not know what they do and then it's almost like they might put you down and it's like well this isn't what I'm used to so instead of putting me down why don't you teach me and then you can come into my world and I can teach you because I'm not putting you down when you come into my world so it's almost like sometimes you feel like people might count you out or think that you're not as up to scratch as they are in their avenue but it's like they're not as up to scratch as you are in your avenue and they could learn and I think people need to like respect and value the way that you look at life and the things you bring to the table because I think that creatively and in regards to just life in general I think that you're so open and so like there's so much that you experience and I feel like there's so much like wisdom that you have in regards to what you've learned and I think that people could really really benefit from that and I think sometimes people might look over that and you deserve to have people understand that because with this three of pentacles I wouldn't be shocked if you 
end up going into like working for yourself or teaching like doing courses and teaching people certain things that you know in certain avenues like i don't know why i'm being shown buttons so i don't know if you want to make clothes and things like that um you could be very like crafty but i think that you have so much to give in certain avenues like that that people might not see and you deserve to have that respected and brought back and encouraged you deserve to have cheerleaders in that way too um because i think that's where a lot of your goal is and i think you deserve people to see that and respect it so let's pull some oracle cards for you guys pile number Pile number four. What am I pile number four is truly deserve? You deserve people as passionate as life as you are, like surrounding you. Like you deserve friends and people around you that love to do things like that too, are open to learning from you. You really do. Uh, we have the wildling. You have the observer. Pile number you have transmute one more card please spirit guides one more card pile number we have the pillar you just make sure that focus is done yeah let me make that go down a bit so you can see them i don't know why i think i did like a different set and there's i don't know i think i did a different set in because the camera keeps blurring random things i don't know what set and i did i don't know what i did but we have paradox at the back of the deck as well so sorry if it's blurry in certain areas i really don't know what i did um okay the wildling the observer um, a friend that I had sent me a song the other day and I really want to share it. It's by, I think it's a group called, I'm sure it's called Calandra, but it's called Wonderland. And the girl in that group sings, um, so if you wonder where I've been, I, I think it's something like I've left to scale the mountain. Don't worry about me and where I am. I'm in my wonderland. Um, and that's what I'm hearing with that song, Wildling, like, you're, I feel like you're the type of person to just like go off grid. I feel like you're the type of person to just travel somewhere. I feel like you're the type of person to just switch jobs and follow your intuition. And you deserve people that just love that part of you just because and don't try and change you. I feel like you've had people try and put you in the box and try and change you. You deserve to live the way that you want to live and you deserve to like the things that you like without feeling like you're not moving at the pace other people want you to or you're not doing the things that other people want you to do. Like I see a lot of people being like, why haven't you got this sorted yet or like why don't you have this house yet or why don't you have this car yet or why haven't you got this type of job yet and it's like who said i even wanted that anyway i feel like a lot of people have tried to make you see life through their lenses and have you dim your light in certain areas and it's like who said that i have to do that who said that i even wanted to do that i think you deserve people that love those sides of you and respect those sides of you and that's the way that you're moving you know what I mean? And are happy to like build that bridge to meet you halfway instead of trying to put you in a box where they feel comfortable. I think you deserve people that really see all that you are and that wondrous part of you. And that when you are off grid or you are, you are in your own wonderland, like they love that and they respect that. I think you really deserve that. And even if it's not like, even if you're not someone that travels and stuff like that, it could be like your career. It could be, you know, your work or just the way that you move or the lifestyle that you just have. You deserve to live the way that you want to live. And you deserve people that accept you for who you are and accept your rhythms for, you know, the way that they are. Um, you deserve people that really see you. That's what I want to say with the observer. You deserve people that really see you. Because I don't see you projecting onto people and wanting people to change the way that they are. So you deserve that back, you know, because you're very open minded and you deserve that open mindedness back. Uh, why do we have transmute and then pillar? With a transmute, you've got like a little wasp here and then above the wasp, there's like an eye. You deserve people, and especially with the amethyst tree, like you deserve people to see, try and see from a higher perspective and try and get you and, and get to know those versions of you. You know what I mean? Even if they don't want to come traveling with you and they don't want to get into what it is that you do, you deserve people to still get you to a degree and you deserve people to still see you and respect those parts of you. Um, 
yeah and especially if you always feel like you're having to fit yourself in a box but people aren't coming out of the box you deserve people that meet you halfway at least you know but you don't have to settle for people that are just staying on one side of the fence like you you deserve people that come over and, and, and walk with you on your journey too you know um yeah what well, we've got the paradox at the back of the deck why do we have paradox I feel like with the paradox for a star being the star, I just literally kept here in reach for the stars. Um, the song by S Club 7, which is quite cute. Um, but with the paradox card here, I feel like sometimes people's opinions of you contradict the last opinion that they had of you because people try to put you in a box where it's like, oh, that person's really spiritual. But then you could be really like logical and it's like, oh, that person's really log logical. And it's like, I see people trying to like put you in a box that makes them feel comfortable and project it onto you. And you deserve to just exist in who you are and be seen in that way and not feel like you have to be the funny one, the adventurous one, the this, the that. Like you deserve to just show up as who you are. And even if you are a different person than you were six months ago, you deserve to do that, no questions asked, if that makes sense. Like, thought you were doing this, thought you were doing that. I can do both, you know? It's like when people are really spiritual and then they like, like, makeup or they like material things and then people are like, you can't do both. And it's like, I'm a human being as well, I can. You know what I mean? Like, I can do both, by the way. Because um, I think there's sometimes, there's so many layers to you that people, like, might not get you and you deserve people to just, you know... Even if they can't fully understand, just accept you and if you are someone that's ever changing, you know? So, panel number four, that is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the reading. Hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. So, thank you guys for watching.